Hey, hey, developers. Today we're going to look at Vue CLI 3.0. So you can see right here that Vue CLI, it's in beta version right now. So if you don't know, Vue CLI is kind of a tooling for Vue to create Vue apps. There is a quite a bit of difference between Vue 2 and Vue CLI, Vue CLI 2 and Vue CLI 3. So I thought I'd give you guys just a quick introduction to it and show you some of the features. Uh, this is obviously still in change, still things are changing, so things are in movement. Things can change by the time you watch this, so always check back the GitHub page to see if anything changed. But I think they're almost, this should be almost what comes out. Like I said, it's in beta, so it's gone past alpha. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my view window here. It might be a little hard to see, but... To, to run any commands here, to what you would first need to do is install Vue CLI. And it's a little bit different than you probably saw in the past. So you can use, use yarn or npm. So the easiest way is to use npm, well, uh, yarn either. It's either way. So npm install, and then you do tac g for global and at view CLI. And so this will install the Vue CLI on your command line so you can start running your apps. I already have installed, so I'm not going to do it again. So if you do view dash dash help or dash h help dash h, you can see it has a few extra commands uh, than you are used to. So in the old view CLI, we had this view init. Um, that was kind of used all the time. but And of course, view net now we have view serve. Uh, so we have some new options here. Uh, the one way they mention is to use Vue Create, so it creates a new project powered by Vue, Vue CLI service. And then you can also invoke, which invokes the generator of a plugin in an already created project. So this is kind of nice. So now um, you can see here in this page, well it doesn't say it explicitly, but what you can do now is you can, uh, all the plugins for Vue are scoped. So you're using uh, this these scoped plugins architecture, uh, scope packages, and at any time after you create your app, you can go ahead and, and install anything you're missing uh, pretty easily. And then you can invoke it, and then it kind of runs this generator that adds whatever you're missing. Uh, so I'll give you an example of that, but first let's take a look at creating an app. Oops, this is Adam. Let me go back to my CLI here. So. If I type in view create test one, two, three, for example. So now it gives you some uh, different options. You can see here at the top, I have either default, Babel ES, Lint. And if I hit enter here, it's just going to kind of do the normal installation that uh, we expect. But if you do manually select features and hit enter here, then you can check uh, what you want. And this is kind of a really big departure. You can do TypeScript generated out of the box, which is really, really cool. And I'll show you that in a second. So what you can do is you can kind of pick and mix and match the features you want. So I can hit spacebar here and hit TypeScript. I can do progressive web app, router, Vuex, CSS preprocessors. I can hit uh, linter if we want, unit testing, E2E. Um, let's, let's do, let's not do TypeScript, but let's do like router, Vuex, and CSS preprocessors. We hit enter here, and then it asks us, would you want to use SAS or less or stylus. Let's do SCSS. Would enter, and then it asks you where do you want to prefer placing config for Babel, PostCSS, ES, Lint. You can either put them all in the package JSON file or in dedicated config files. We do that, and then it asks you if you want to save the preset. We can set yes or no here. If you hit yes, then later on you can use those presets to create your uh, view apps quickly. So I'm hitting no here, and now it's going to do the install. I'm not going to go ahead and install it because I've already done it. Um, once you get it installed and it creates the directory, then you just change directories to it. So I already have a few created, so let's let's take a look at one of them. Here I have Visual Code open. So here is called CLI Normal. So I'm going to change directory to CLI Normal. CLI Normal. And then I can run npm run serve, and that goes ahead and serves it. It's on port 8080. So if you look here, right here, uh, if I can go right here, 
Refor refresh it. And this is this looks a little, probably a little bit different than what you've seen before in the past, but it's just a basic Hello World page. If you look at the file here, we can kind of get an idea. I'll make it a little bit bigger. So we had just, this looks probably pretty familiar with anybody that's uh, seen normal view apps. So up here, here's our template. Here's our HTML. We have our export, our props. Um, we can add a data object in there, uh, a data function that is, and then we have our styled CSS. If we look back at our explorer here, uh, the way it sets it up, it's a little bit different than I've seen in the past. You have, of course, your app view, and you have your router links to home and about. So this is kind of like your main. So here's your main entry point. It's just creating this from app.view. If you look in app.view, it has this template at the top and has two links using this router dat link to home and about. And if we look in the router file, we can see that it already has two routes set up for us, home and about. It's using the component about and home, which is in the views folder. So if you look in the views folder and about and home, here's about and the about is using the hello world component and it's using it's passing in a prop called message to it it's also displaying the picture at the top and then finally if you go to the hello world component you could see the actual hello world which we're seeing on the screen so it's a setup a little bit differently than older CLIs uh, it's I don't know if it's better or worse but it's just a little bit different so, but if we wanted to, let's say here in this app, we wanted to add in PWA. And so we're using scope packages. So we can come back over here. Let's stop it. And we're going to clear it. We can type in npm install at view CLI plugin PWA. And that'll go ahead and install this, this view CLI plugin PWA, which will just take a moment. All right, it's installed. So now you have to do view invoke PWA. And that'll run this generator, which will install everything you need for the PWA. It runs all the dependencies and post install. And you can see here it added a bunch of other icons and images and then manifest file. Of course, with progressive web apps, you have a manifest file. It registers it and it kind of does everything for you, which is cool. So if you go back here, you can see all these new files that added, added the register worker. Uh, we have some more stuff in public, did some configuration for us, the package JSON file was modified. So yeah, it, it, it definitely, you can see here now, we have this view CLI PWA in it. So it definitely kind of added everything we need to, to kind of start. Now, let's, if we go back here, npn run serve, creates our development server again. And now we're back to where we were before. Yep, so here it is. But now we, we're having a more PWA experience here. You can't really tell it. Maybe we could use Lighthouse to check it out. But we won't do that right now. We can use it like a Chrome browser extension that helps determine how progressive web app our app is. That's what Lighthouse is. We could do that, but we're not going to do that right now. So that was pretty easy. Uh, so let's take a look at one other thing. So if we go back to our browser here, I'm going to stop this server. And let's say uh, I did, I already did this in beforehand, but you saw there was an option for TypeScript, which is really cool. So that's the first time we've seen TypeScript out of the box using Vue CLI. Now people have been using TypeScript with Vue for a while, but they've been kind of using different sample projects people have been using. And there's been quite a work work on it, but it's nice that it's all in one place now. So if we go, actually, we need to go one one other folder. So we're going to run uh, CLI test three. That's the one we need. So you're going to CLI test three. We're going to go npm run serve. Okay, it's running right now. So you can see here, I installed some plugins, but I probably still need to do a little bit more configuration. You can see right here, we're using this new import. So it has this view property decorator now. 
and we can uh, create our own interfaces. I was kind of messing around here. We have this uh, decorator for prop. We have a decorator from component now. Here we, this is basically uh, like our, we can have like a data object here with hi and pet. Um, so I, I'm really interested in seeing like how this, this goes. Um, we're having import statements at the top uh, that have uh, Kind of, kind of, it's all TypeScript, so it's really cool that they were able to to do this and get this working out of the box. Um, I need to obviously configure Visual Code. It's giving a few errors here and there, but a few warnings, no errors. But it's kind of cool. Like, like I created this interface called Pet, added an age number. Um, I created this object based on it, and now at the top, you can see here I have high dot, which probably is not a very good name. Obviously, we can call it. I don't know, kitty. Name is kitty two. And then in here we can call this, I don't know, kitty. And we can do kitty.name or save it. Look back. Now you can see here it says kitty. So it's really cool there. If we go back here, you can see there's a bunch of different decorators. There's an emit decorator, decorator inject, model, prop, provide, watch, component. So creating your view app using TypeScript is a totally different experience than probably what you're used to. Um, I know a lot of people have been doing it, but this is the first time it's it's come to view out of the box, out of view CLI. I will probably be doing another video on using TypeScript with view in the future, but I just wanted to kind of show how it works. So that's all I got today. Thank you for watching. If you like these type of videos, click that subscribe button and click that bell button. That really helps me out. Thanks. Take care.